Squarespace. Links below, guys. Check it out. <laughs> Hey everyone, now the very first thing that we have to do is we have to go out and get the tools necessary to actually start programming the C language that I'm going to be teaching here in the preceding tutorials. Now, you guys may or may not already have um, what they call as a compiler or a development environment to, to actually compile the C language that we're going to be programming. So I'm going to take you out to the interweb and we're going to go to netbeans.org. Now NetBeans is basically an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, and that, it actually handles quite a bit of different um, programming languages. If you're if you're learning Java or if you're learning PHP, the greatest thing about NetBeans is it's free. <clears throat> and you might ask, why am I taking you to NetBeans? You know, and it, one, it's free, and two, it works on both Windows and Mac OS OS X, or even Linux. Oh, and Solaris. Wow, all four of them. So that's why. I, I was going to use Xcode, but then Travis was like, dude, you you really, not everyone has Xcode, man. You got to, like, show people on Windows, too. And I was like, yeah, good point, good point. So I'm going to show you guys on NetBeans here, thanks to Travis. And so what I want you to do is when you prob when you get to NetBeans.org, you'll see right on the, the home page you're going to have download for free. So click that. Once you get into there, you know, it may not be this is specific 7.1.2, but get whatever is the newest. And then go down and you'll see that uh, they have several columns that you can download um, certain packages and supported technologies within that, within that. Look for the one that has the C slash C++. Go ahead and download that. If you want some of the other ones while you're at it, go ahead too. So download that. It should take you a couple minutes. And uh, once you get that downloaded, just install it as the instruction said. I did it myself and it, uh, it didn't take long at all. And there weren't any like loopholes that you had to do. So once you get it all installed, um, you're gonna launch the program. And I think like the very first time I launched it, this whole start page was kind of like blown up. So this should be where you're at. If you've downloaded the program, you've launched it. And now we just have to uh, actually start up a, a project, create a project, and then create the files for what we're going to start doing with the C language. Now, once you're to this point, I want you to go File New Project, or uh, Command Shift N, and you'll see that we've got a few different options here. We've got C slash C++, we've got a few different project starting templates, we've got some samples that we could go through, um, but we're going to start from the basis here of the C slash C++ application. Go ahead and go uh, click next and name your project whatever you'd like there. Now the only other thing that you guys should have to adjust is over to the right it may be under defaulted to C++ as far as the main file. Since we're learning C first and then we'll get to C++ and C sharp and all that stuff we're gonna start with C so make sure that is defaulted to C. And go ahead and click finish. Now at this point your projects populating you'll see over to the left hand side that we've got the navigator um, that just pulled our project into this IDE or the, the uh, NetBeans and once you've created your project we should all be on the same page so I will catch you guys in the next tutorial